I got the whole family with me and I've got like five, 10 minutes. So we're looking to see what we can find. NBA 2K4 on PS, or NBA 2K on PS4. Um, Dead Zones sealed. Oh, they've got the whole thing priced together at $7.99. What's good, what's good, what's good? Oh, are you playing with pop-up books? How many Harry Potters can we find? No, thank you. No, I think we're going to skip the media. Let's go walk through some more places. No. If we'd found five or six in a row, maybe we would have, but... Evie. Boys. Everybody. Let's move. Robert Wayne, that's a nice looking shoe. I found some really good shoes here. Heavy Dawn, no man. How are these? Uh, what brand are they? They are sand. Mm. Nope. All right, we're gonna move quick past here. I can probably get the shoe. Oh, there you go. That was wise. You ready, Jay? Oh no, I'm afraid I wasn't recording a bunch of this. I was recording and I was not, so let me show you what we got. These are shoes that Desiree is keeping. This is a lucky fishing hat. A nice Chargers hat, and those are $2 a piece. This is Fenton, and that's Fenton, and they're like $4 a piece. These are Beck beer, but they're really neat looking steins. And then this is uh, Pyrex Vision in that purple color, which is better than the amber color. And then Levi found these Dansko clogs. How much are they? They are $4.399. We'll do well. How are these? The next day, Okay, so we were able to do just a few minutes at Goodwill the other day, and I actually haven't hardly started processing this stuff at all. I wiped these shoes down. They didn't need a lot. I just took a dryer or a magic eraser and did the tops because they had some scuffs on the toes. Um, let's take a deep dive and look at what we got and what we can expect to make. So looking at it, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Now, obviously, those two you pair together, but I did buy them separately. These were $3.99, so $4. This was also $3.99, no, $3.29, and these are $4.39. So let's call these $4 a piece, because that makes it just make more sense. Um, so four, and four, and four, and these were what, two a piece? Two, and two, and Four fifty, and then two dollars for that set. Dansko white number size forty one women's clogs. Let's do some comps on these. And these are not perfect, but they are super nice. They don't have much wear on them. They got a lot of life left in them, but they do have this one scuff on the toe that I'm not going to be able to take out. So those look like they're about $25, $20 plus shipping maybe. Let's call them 20 bucks. Okay, this is a company called Fenton, and it is a very delicate glass from the 40s, um, generally speaking. Um, Fenton, I don't know. Let me see if I can focus in on that. This piece, and these were just kind of a grab it, 
I didn't do any comps. I just knew that Fenton tends to be collectible. Um, and so it says Fenton on the bottom. And I knew walking up to these that they were Fenton. They just, there's a look. Uh, this is called a basket weave vase for obvious reasons. Um, and this one still has the sticker. So for collectability, that makes a lot of difference. Um, I would say this is a higher end one of these, even though this is a lower end Fenton piece. Uh, comps, I paid $4. It looks like it's probably going to sell between like... Eight and twelve dollars plus shipping, not a great pickup. This is another Fenton piece, and it is it was four dollars and thirty-nine cents. And it is iridescent green. I don't know if this is re, uh, uranium or not. It could well be. And I have a black light, I can figure it out. Um, I really don't know a lot about this yet. It does not retain the sticker. Um, let me see if I can put something up here. So this is a pedestal dish, pedestal bowl, um, and it's ruffled. And I believe this is uranium glass. And I can show you guys how to test that. I've done it in a previous video but i would say it looks like the ruffles are not a real seller the uranium glass is and the uh pedestal bowl is but i think this is probably going to be in the 10 to 15 dollars plus shipping range which makes it not really worth picking up but i didn't have time to do the comps at the store and i knew fenton was good i'll make money on these things but I just not much. I will be lucky if I can find a hat like this. And this isn't the kind of thing somebody's going to be looking for collectible. This is a... Oh, somebody cut the tag out of it too. This is the kind of thing that you post as a fishing hat. And somebody finds it and they're like, that's cute. But it'll probably only sell for $6.99 plus shipping. It's really... Without a tag on the inside, and there's no labeling. There's nothing special about this hat. I'll probably just list it for 6 or $8 plus shipping and let it go. I only paid $2. This one I kind of knew wasn't necessarily a great hat. This one, 47 I've done reasonably well with. 47 has a line of hats made from recycled bottles. And those are cool. And they sell reasonably well. This Chargers emblem, this is a cool looking hat. And for two bucks, I imagine it'll do relatively well. Um, but let's look at some comps. So this is used strap back. You cannot use the word Velcro to describe this. You will get a three day suspension if you get caught using the word Velcro. So the sell-through rate on these hats is not good. I don't see any listed that are quite as cool as this one, in my opinion. Um, and it's going to sit for a while just because that's how it is. Um, these Chargers hats by 47 don't seem to be selling hardly at all. Um, and so perhaps it'll change during football season. But I think we're going to probably expect to sit on this for six months. But for $2, I think looking at what's listed, I think we could reasonably expect to list this for $15.99 plus shipping and have it sell sometime in the next six months. So these are not home runs. This is a pretty common, uh, I would say this is even a below average uh, run to Goodwill, but we were only in there for 10 minutes and I just grabbed stuff that I thought was interesting. And I think we're about to hit the good stuff. These glasses, these are really, like, they're unusually tall and skinny. S-O-H-M. And then they say Beck, which is a brand of German beer that I'm familiar with. I don't know what the rest of that is. Looks like it might be German. Pale. 
Pilsner Brout. Let's see if we can find something about these. So be not dismayed, Mud and Pop Thrift. Um, we have two, and most of the things that are listed and most of the things that are sold are one. So even if they are only like six bucks a piece, that's $12 plus shipping, and they're going to have to go priority, which means I can put them into a number seven box, which is 12 by 12 by 10, so I can get plenty of padding and maybe even get them each in their own box. Uh, I'm going to keep digging. Let's see if we can find uh, something a little bit closer. These are going to be a little bit long tail. It looks like there's none of these listed. There's none of these sold. Um, something else you can do is go on to the Google app on your phone. On an iPhone, you download the Google app um, and it comes up with a camera icon and you click on the camera icon. This is not Chrome. This is the Google app. And then when that and everybody says just use Google Lens. It took me a long time to figure out that that is a function of the Google app on iPhone. It is not an app called Google Lens. So you download the Google app and then from the search bar of the Google app there is a thing you can click on that is a camera. You click on that, it brings up the camera and you can either import a picture there or you can take a picture of whatever's on your camera and it will search Google. And that is an interesting way to search things, especially like this. You can even highlight the words and have it translate them, even though it's not real hard to figure out what hike back, uh, natural, specialitat pilsner brout means. I mean, I don't think we need to really dig deep into figuring out what those German words mean about this beer glass. Um, but the, uh, we, we can do some Google image searching and see if we can find exactly these and maybe they're listed on Amazon or Mercari or anywhere else on the internet. Um, but I think, I think I, I can probably safely list these at $24.99 shipped for the pair. They'll cost me like 10 bucks to ship anywhere in the United States. And at $2, I'm still gonna pocket like 10. So, so far, we're not making a ton of money. This was not a profitable venture. But we're not losing money either. Um, it's just a matter of doing the work to make a little bit of money which is not the way that we like to do things. The last one is the one where I feel like it's winner, winner, chicken dinner. These were $4.39, and there are one, two, three, four amethyst. If you're not familiar with this, these amethyst clear bowls, um, I've never seen these actual mixing bowls before, but they are vintage Pyrex, and they are... You see them a lot. I see them a lot in cookware, and I see them a lot in that, um, what I would call an ashtray color, like an amber glass. So you can see that these are vintage Pyrex, Corning, and then they say they're for use with a stove, but they're purple. But let's look and see Well, let's look and see what a set of four of these purple bowls go for. Because you do see one-offs a lot of these kind of things, but you don't see complete sets a whole lot. So it looks like it would be kind of reasonable to expect for these to sell between $35 and $55, um, depending on how much the shipping is going to be. So, see, I spent $20, and there's a handful of things that I'm just going to make a little bit of money on, but grabbing those bowls made the whole day worth it. Um, that's going to be $40 profit on those bowls, probably. Um, and for 10 minutes in the store, I think we did okay. Um, not like a huge home run like it has been a couple of times, but I bet there was a home run in that store. We just didn't have time to find it. Um, 
So I'm glad, actually, like you guys have seen so many good bolos, so many big home run things. I'm glad that this one turned out to be a little more normal. I feel like it brings some balance to the force. Let me know what you think about the deep dive. Let me know uh, if you've enjoyed this particular type of content, um, which is a little bit different than how I normally do it. Uh, click the thumbs up for me on your way out. It really, really, you don't know how much, unless you have a channel, you don't know how much it affects the channel. Thumbs up uh, for me. Leave a comment, ask a question, tell me what's going on, engage with the channel that way. If you haven't already, I hope I've earned you clicking the subscribe button. And if you find this kind of content interesting um, and you want to learn more about reselling, then click the notification bell and you'll get an update every time I put out a new video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.